three o'clock now and here I am at Aust Services which is on the English side of the old Severn Bridge on the M48 and I parked the van uh, on the road uh, between Avonmouth and here uh, it's about maybe two miles away and I've just walked up here just having a cup of tea and then I'm gonna walk back down there and uh, Another mile further on there is a place called Seven Beach where there is a railway station and there is also a pub next door with a big car park so I'm going to go and see if I can park on that car park. And my intention then is to walk to Avonmouth tomorrow and get a train back and that seems quite simple and effective and I hope so. And uh, it's been it is quite a tedious ride here actually coming right across country on all the little twisty roads I did, I did use the roads more or less in the Exeter direction but then spun off in a, a, to sort of cut the corner off and came up the M5 and it wasn't that busy and the weather was quite good but there was lots of torrential rain and on, on the, uh, as I left the, uh, as I left the Lulworth area it absolutely chucked it down. It, even if it had stopped probably an hour later it would have been too late for me to have done the walk to Lipset and back and uh, so I decided having not heard from uh, Don at all not a word I decided to come up here and uh, start this walk and uh, so I'll be continuing now on on this sort of on the seven uh, estuary all the way to the Cornish border and I don't know how long that's going to take me the last time I was here was October the 24th which was uh, the day that I crossed the Severn Bridge from Wales and at that time I'd done 1800 miles well I've done another 700 miles since then I've got I've done 2500 now so um, by the time I've got to uh, the, the beginning of the uh, southwest coastal path which is I think it's uh, I'm not entirely sure where it is to be honest, but I know I've got to cross Somerset first, North Somerset first, which might be a bit tedious and mundane and definitely flat and I would imagine quite boggy. But before I get on to the, uh, up again onto the higher ground and uh, the ups and downs and everything, which you, which more is link up with, uh, with what I found when I got to Cornwall. So, that's it that's my intention for, uh, for for what I'm doing I've thought about it a, a long a lot actually and, and I think it's a, a simple case of if I'd have carried on east of Bournemouth along the coast I know I've, I've said this before really but if I'd have kept on going east 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 it would have been a, a much further each time to come back to here and at least when I finished this walk on the Devon Cornwall border it's going to be easy to go back down on the coast to finish off just those two walks which amount to about 15 miles from Lulworth to uh, Lipset and uh, which is just outside or just to the west of Swanage but uh, I think having given it careful thought this is the way to do it
This is Dave and I've reached uh, Battery Point at Portishead which uh, as you know, well Dave will tell us anyway, it's not strictly on the coastal path Dave. 
Um, no, well, you I, were telling me that just now. I didn't yeah. actually know that. But, yes. Uh, yeah. Well, I managed to I managed to get to uh, get back from Wales to uh, Avonmouth, but having done the walk from house services to Avonmouth last Thursday, I've done. I've, Today I've come up at the motorway bridge and come into Porter's Head rather than walking all the way down yeah. the River Avon. But you yeah. say you live on that river. We live on the river, yeah. We live on car what's called Coronation Road where the where the river was redirected, but it is the Avon that, that runs under the suspension bridge and then it uh, to create the floating harbour in the docks. It's the tidal yes. river that runs in from here and uh, right. it's probably brackish water as well, even in there, you know. Being, yes. Being, um, but yeah, so we live as the as it sweeps under the Clifton Suspension Bridge. We live on the river there, just by the petrol station there. But yeah, oh, yeah that's yeah. amazing. I mean, so yeah. you can be seen quite a lot or walking up and down here. Then um, we don't come here loads, but I, as I said, I just love a hori- sense of a horizon. We spend a lot of time in Cornwall, and this yes. is our. In fact, the walk out along the River Avon from Bristol is breathtaking under the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Yes. We can, we, I cycle out to here for the day, swim in the pool, yeah. and then cycle back, sometimes racing boats or racing the tide. Really? Racing the tide back, back up. And the, the, it goes through all the fields of cars, that, what I call them, the fields of cars right, at Avonmouth, yeah, yeah. where all the, you know, yeah, where, all yeah, the, yeah. All, yeah. where all the stuff comes in on the big boats. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just really interested in the Brit. You know, people are always going on about going here and going there yeah, and going yeah. everywhere. And right on your doorstep is well, absolutely so much of interest. I mean, I saw a, a, a program about about this place on yeah. uh, on YouTube. Funny yeah. enough, with some yeah. guy with with a, with a woman, and it took them yeah. two hours to drive yeah. from here to Bristol because the the A three seven nine is yeah. the only road. Yeah out of the place yeah yeah and of course then you meet the m5 and yeah. then you've got all yeah, the yeah. all the traffic yeah, but yeah. they were saying i found this morning when i say i found i mean mm. it's not like it, it yeah. wasn't a big discovery but there's a railway line yeah that, that, that runs all the way along i know, they've I know they've just opened a new railway line for the freight service but they haven't yeah but they, they haven't they, opened up a, yeah. a, 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 a people one yeah they have been talking about it for years yes. it's there as well it's there yeah, it's there i was going to say there. the tracks there yeah. underneath underneath yeah. the m yeah. the m5 yeah. bridge the tracks yeah. there so you uh, you've just walked you walked back did you yeah i've just walked so that's there. where i cycle along through peel yes yeah um yes and it was, it, you know, it's blowing, it blowing on the yeah. top. You know, when yeah. you're right on the top, yeah. my hat nearly yeah. blew off. It was that windy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can't really get any good camera work because the fences yeah. are a bit high and all that. But yeah. nevertheless, it was a nice walk. Yeah, it is a nice walk. And, it, and it's got me started. And now, yeah. now my intention, and yeah. I, I hope you agree with me, I yeah. can, I, I can drive my van now to the yeah. other side of of, yeah. uh, of Clevedon yeah. and get an X4 back to here, can't I? I, I, I don't know. About you don't know the buses. Know the well, buses. that's what I'd figured yeah. on. I just wondered yeah. if you yeah. if you was going yeah. to approve of that. Actually, no. Yeah. My well, it's been really nice talking to you. Yeah, nice Thanks talking to you too. Whereabouts did you go in Cornwall? Have you been? Oh, I've got a caravan near um, Butte, so I know the coastline really well. I surf a lot, so I know the Cornish coast quite well. Yes. Um, near the GCHQ at Morwinstow. Right. Viewed. Um, oh, right. where, all, where all the dishes are. Where the dishes are. Yeah, yeah, where yeah, that's yeah. more than so GCHQ, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. that's one of our favourite beaches yes. below there, Duckpool. Yeah. And we go to some of the remote spots around there yeah. to Speaks Mills and Heartland Keys. Right. And because um, it's a bit rugged up there, isn't it? Very rugged. But it's yeah. very straight that stretch because if you look from Heartland to Butte, even though it's very rugged and wild, if you look on the map, it's very very linear from yes. from um, Heartland. Yes. Once you come out of Clavelli and swing round. Yes. And then from Heartland down to Bew's a very straight stretch of coast actually right. on the map if you look at it. And then when it once it gets to Widmouth Bay and Millock and Cracken's Haven it then starts to be the sort of really rugged yeah, down yeah, through to Barwood right. Strand. Right. It really starts to open out. Yeah. And that's do right. that but that stretch, even though it's very rocky particularly yeah. around Speaks Mills very very straight. Oh coast. yeah. Very dangerous stretch of coast. Well, there was a big rock. Fell a woman. The video. Did, did you see oh, that? No, but, I didn't, yeah, she had, she had a video camera handy. That was a huge. That, piece that, of, yeah, I did that hear was about. Near, that was near Bew. In the over in the it recently, somebody told me about it when I was down there a couple of yeah, weeks yeah, ago. Yeah. Someone was talking about it. and yeah. the beach we go to a lot. I mean, even in the summer, there are big sections, hundreds of tons coming down. Yeah, yeah. And when you get a few frosts and a lot of them, and yeah, them that's right. drying out. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very interested in the coastline, and yeah. the, I spend a lot of time out bobbing around in it on a surfboard. And brilliant, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, there's nothing more. 
Yeah, well, that's same here, mate. That's fantastic. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Lovely to speak to you. You too. Though. Thanks very much, mate. I'll give you a card right. and keep yeah. in touch. Lovely. Nice one. Thank, Thank you, mate. You. Cheers. Thank you. Good morning, here I am, it's 9.30 on Thursday the 7th of March and it's amazing that a week has gone by since I went off up to Wales, I returned back onto the track yesterday 
at Avonmouth where I left off and as you've seen already I took the bridge that goes over the River Avon, that's the M5 motorway. It was quite an experience actually walking over that bridge and it was blowing a gale, there was a lot of it you couldn't see, I had to turn the volume down on all the rest of it because of the noise and, and the wind and I very nearly lost my hat as well, it nearly blew off. So I've decided to carry on walking off the coastal path which which incidentally is the River Avon which I crossed which takes you right into the middle of Bristol to the Clifton Suspension Bridge where you have to turn around and come all the way back and I personally thought that was a bit of a waste of time and so I'm walking from Portishead down to Clevedon and then to Western Supermare that's my plan for the next two or three days and uh, I should be in Western Supermare later this afternoon and then I can see how far I've got and then I'll be making a plan to get down to uh, Highcliffe and then further down still to Bridgewater. Um, for, I'm sure most of you people will be aware after all the floods that were on some years ago, I can't remember quite what year it was, but the North Somerset levels flooded quite badly and uh, I have memories of that and I, I'm trying to keep on roads as much as I can at the moment especially after the deluge of wet weather that we've had over the last week while I've been uh, sheltering in my steg from uh, Storm Freya etc I'm sure the fields are going to be pretty wet so this is just a temporary thing where I've changed things so that I can walk on concrete and keep my feet dry and still make progress without going through boggy slushy mud and things are going well uh, I've recovered pretty well from my chest infection that seems to have gone now thanks to Mel who uh, who has been fattening me up she said I've lost too much weight and she's been giving me some wonderful meals and looking after me and being a retired nurse she knows exactly what she's talking about and uh, we had some quite long discussions about the state of my health and uh, bearing in mind the amount of calories I'm being putting in and calories I'm burning off we, we, we did have some quite serious talks about it but just to say that I do feel pretty well back to normal and I'm making pretty good progress and everything's going okay so I'm sure I'm sorry that this this particular program hasn't been a particularly long one and the reason of, for that is there's not a great deal to show you when I'm road walking and uh, it's it, there are only small places Portishead and Clevedon there's no fantastic scenery to show you uh, it's going to be the same when I get into uh, Western Supermare it's a very nice town centre and, and it's got a nice beach but the, 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 the walk leading up to that and leading out of is going to be fairly mundane so I hope you'll forgive that and uh, until I get back on to the South Westall Coastal Path which is going to be probably another two or three or maybe four days walking before I get to the beginning of the walk then it's going to be very much the same so they are going to be shorter films so I'm going to leave you now and just let you see the walk from here into Western Supermare and uh, I'll be back on with you again tomorrow. So it's lovely to be back, very nice to see you all. Thank you. Bye bye.